Welcome fellow fans and collectors to another Gundam unboxing. Today we have Gundam Universe GU32, Gundam Death Scythe Hell EW, Endless Waltz version. Uh, code XXXG01D2? I'm going with D2. And uh, the box is shiny, so you can't really see the, see the figure right there. But there's some lovely artwork right there of uh, the Death Scythe. Death Scythe Hell. I think it's supposed to be Death Scythe Hell Custom. This is the, the, towards the end of uh, Gundam Wing, they had ridiculously long names uh, denoting the different Gundams. But we see on the back, this is an action figure, not a model kit. We have some cross sale down here. We'll see what happens with those. Um, if I review them or not. This is a collectible, ages 15 and up. Gundam Universe on the bottom. Nice artwork there. And this is a very dark. Hopefully it shows up on camera well. It's just that it's such a contrast of dark figure to white background. There's some product shots on the side. Um, that size hell, endless waltz, GU32. Um, Gundam, that size hell, endless waltz. Okay, enough with this. <laughs> We're gonna open up the box. Ah, uh, we no one cares about the box anyway. As I am doing so, I invite you to hit that like button and subscribe. I come back with videos as often as I get figures, which some people say is too often. All right, the box is almost empty. There's some instructions on how to assemble this. We might need those. There is the blank background that I'm come to expect from Bandai, Tamashi, Tamashi Nations, Tamashi Nations. And I forgot how big his feats are. Let's get to see what's in here. First off, we have the wings here in the back. We're gonna cut those out. And the rest of it just opened up. Okay. This is not taped shut like the others. It is a snap collector friendly package. That's why everything came apart. So here we have the other piece of the wings, the backpack. Let me get the wings out of here. We'll continue with what we were continuing with. Or what we were doing rather. I, I want to be careful getting these out of here because these do feel fragile and sharp. Collector friendly package, but they seal things in plastic envelopes. Uh, all right, there we go. Those are out. Do those just assemble like so? It looks that way. I was hoping for some kind of hinge mechanism, but there are the wings, all assembled. Nice and batty like. There's a little protector protecting the, the feet. We'll get him out by himself. Ooh, stay, stay. All right, what else we got here? We got the connector joint there. We all know what that looks like. That just goes in the bottom. And we have some alternate hands here. These will be for holding the scythe that that scythe is named after. I really don't know if these are focusing right just because of the color of everything. This is like a, a color that my camera hate. It, it's, it's not a... It, it's... A bluish black. Here's the death size. We're going to assemble that. It is shiny painted teal. And we have a little bit of a uh, paint issue there. Not that big of a deal because that's going right into here. And then that assembles like so. And that should be the rest of that. And as I was saying, don't fall. 
He's gonna fall. There we go. Uh, this is a collector friendly package. So we could pop it back in there if we really want to. I'm not gonna say the package, but it is what it is. The instructions, we've already done all this. We know that those are gonna hold the scythe. And then to assemble the Tamashi, Tamashi joint, Tamashi joint, we just pop it down here at the bottom. Like so. Uh, before we assemble that, that's just going to go in the back there. Let's have a look at figure unassembled. We see the face. Focus. I don't know how else to get this. There we go. We we see the face right there. Nice detail. Very dark, like I said. But it's got some shiny eyes, shiny teal eyes. Nice coloration. Very good lightness. It's got that sleek, endless waltz look. These here are very pointy, very sharp, and very delicate feeling. These move at all. The pauldrons, shoulder bits, no. Um, those just stay in there like this. I was hoping they would expand. This is not a deluxe set. This is just a regular uh, release. So it's a $24.99 price point. Uh, we can move the arms like that, like that, like that. Like so. And of course, these come out and turn the head up, down, all the way around. The reason why I'm doing this is because the backpack is gonna, the, the wings are gonna impair some movement here. We can kick out to the side, yay far. Well, we can put the arms out there, yay far too. Can't raise them up higher than that. Uh, this probably pops off, I'm not gonna force it. Oh, do uh, splits that far. Or kick this far. That's the first time I had a knee MP movement. Back kick, we got about yay far. We're stopped because of this. He's here. Well, that doesn't move. There's a lot of more solid pieces on here than I think thought they would have. And then uh, basically can kick that far back. Uh, these are articulated. The back ones are not. Side, forward, cog piece is not. We do have a little bit of ab crunch and a little bit of a twist. Not a whole lot, but we do have some. Uh, we have rockers forward, backward on the feet. Because they are on a ball joint. And then this piece does move as well, so we can get some movement there. Uh, these are sharp. Those are sharp. <laughs> Everything that you think might be sharp on this thing is sharp. Let me get lower here. There we go. Full view of him with his wings. Little T connector, so our other ones with the T connector, so we can probably swap those pieces out. And they are pretty far back from from his body. Looks not like that. I guess they wanted to give us some movement. But it does uh, create a very nice, imposing silhouette there. We could just swap out one of these. Everything is sharp. That pops out very easily. At the right hand. Technically at the left hand, but... No, it is the right hand. Alright. And then we should be able to pop side to right in there. These open up. Yeah, these are a little squishy, so they can open up. And if need be, a little bit of heat will do that too. We can get the scythe right in there. Pop that up like so. And we have our death scythe hell. I like it. I like it. This is one of my favorite 
Gundams, period. I'm hoping for a an Epion, which is probably my probably my second favorite. But this is a long awaited one. And I don't know. Um Yeah, I don't know what else to say about him. I, I like him. He's exactly what I, I, I I'm expecting. A little bit of shiny plastic with, with some dull plastic. He's heavy. These are solid feeling soft legs, soft plastic legs. I mean, I just wish the wings were articulated. Nothing else much to, uh... Hey, he's definitely going up my shelf. All right. Well, that's what's in the box. We have that. The death side itself extra pair of hands and the instructions and that's what's in today's box as always thank you for watching if you are still watching i invite you to hit that like button and subscribe if you're not a subscriber already i do come back with videos fairly often with gundams um they don't release as often as my other ones but i do have lots of robot videos but once more and as always thank you for watching and have a wonderful day